Welcome. This is four steps to quickly growing your business using Facebook video ads, even if you suck at them. My name is Tim Page. I'm coming at you from Needles, and we also have the folks from promo.com here. We're in the welcome right now. I'll introduce myself briefly in just a second and let you know why you should care to listen. We're going to talk about the rise of Facebook advertising as well as the power of video. Uh, I'll share with you our four steps for creating high converting Facebook video ads. We'll talk about the potential, and then we will answer some questions. So quick introduction to myself. My name is Tim Page. I'm the business educator here at Needles. Uh, I'm a proud father of two boys, one of which is about to turn three, the other is six. They're growing so fast. Um, I have hosted over 1,300 live webinars. So live trainings like this, this is what I do, and I am so excited to get to share this stuff with you and help you grow your business. Um, I'm also a professional voice actor, so just something fun about me. If you ever watch NBC on Saturday mornings, I'm the guy that goes, the more you know, weekends on NBC. And I'm a huge comic book nerd. My office here, I'm surrounded by X-Men and Fantastic Four and all sorts of fun stuff. So uh, that's me. But why does why should you pay attention to this? Why are Facebook ads what we choose to focus our attention on? Well, for starters, there are 1.55 billion people on Facebook each and every month. 93% of marketers and business owners currently use Facebook to advertise for their business. And when you look at it as in terms of the different uh, media, right? So we've got traditional advertising, we've got uh, Facebook and all that kind of things. Uh, online advertising, something messed up with my slide and I apologize for that. Uh, but this first slide here, show, or this first part of the graph here shows uh, that uh, Facebook advertising and online advertising has absolutely dwarfed traditional media, even things like TV, radio, and billboards. So again, online advertising is continuing to grow over time. And Facebook is by far of those social networks and of that online marketing. Facebook is by far the most used social network for advertising. So when you look at this, even compared to the next biggest uh, social media channel, uh, Instagram ads, Facebook, 93% of marketers are using Facebook to advertise their businesses versus 24% for Instagram, 16 for LinkedIn, 15 for Twitter, and so on. Now, we surveyed users on our platform and 88% either have tried social media advertising and failed or didn't even know where to start. Why? Well, because this stuff is hard, right? There's 80 million other small and mid-sized businesses on Facebook, but only 6 million are actually using the ad platform. So who's taking advantage of Facebook? Well, uh, SaaS platforms, right? Software companies, traditional agencies, B2B marketers and B2C marketers, e-commerce businesses selling physical products, independent professionals like service providers. Uh, and I know uh, there was uh, just a question that came in from Kate. Is it effective for service businesses? Absolutely. It's incredibly effective for service businesses as well as local businesses. So, you know, restaurants and shops and things like that. So why, why is Facebook so effective? Well, it gets a lower cost per click than the other social channels. It's a higher click-through rate. So more people are clicking on ads on Facebook. The ability to use unique creatives to target exactly your ideal customer. That massive and growing audience, whereas you might see it shrinking elsewhere, Facebook, it's continuing to grow. The trackable return on your investment, so you know where your dollars are going and whether or not you're getting a return on those dollars the ability to scale, and the increased engagement on Facebook compared to other social channels is you know, just off the charts. Now, a huge reason that Facebook is so popular as an ad platform is the ability to reach not only a wide audience, which is important, but what's more important is the ability to reach your audience, your perfect customers, and that audience is very active. So again, 1.55 billion monthly active users, 1.57 billion mobile daily users. So that's, uh, you know, again, something to consider is mobile. And then 1.18 billion desktop daily active users. So all that said, this is great, right? It's good to know this stuff, but why should you as a business owner or a marketer, why should you care? Well, 95.8% of social media marketers said Facebook gets them the highest ROI. 
social ad spending has doubled in the last two years. So the reality is Facebook ads are the way of the future, and when you do it right, you'll get crazy high conversions at a very low cost. Needless to say, we don't need to keep telling you why you need to advertise on Facebook. You now know, and maybe you already knew before this, and that's why you're here, how valuable and essential it is. So let's tell you how. One note that I wanted to make is that later today, I'm going to be showing you a couple of tools that will help you quickly grow your business and run high converting ads using needles and have the ability to leverage the power of video in your campaigns using promo.com, even if you don't have a creative bone in your body and have no experience with Facebook ads. So today, not only am I going to tell you what to do, but I'm going to show you how to do it using these two tools. All right. And they're going to make it so much easier to be able to do these things. Now, here's what you don't need. For those of you concerned, you do not need videography skills, which I'm over here going, hallelujah, this is wonderful because me and a video camera, we don't get along, okay? And then experience with Facebook ads. If you don't have either of those things, you're in luck because you are still gonna be able to do this, uh, what we're talking about today. What you do need though, and I'm about to ask you a question, so get ready to type. What you do need is the willingness to put in the work and the passion for your business. Those are the prerequisites to be able to do what we're talking about today. So here's my question to you. Go over to the questions box and answer it for me. Do you have it? Do you have the willingness to put in the work and the passion for your business? You know it, says Shane. Yes, says Rosemary. Of course, says Evan. I love it. Yes, indeed, of course. Yes, yes. More than you know. Yes, we already do. I love it. Shazam. <laughs> I love it. This is good stuff. This is great. I love it. Okay, good. So I, it seems like everybody's everybody's into it. Everybody's ready. Everybody's got the passion and the willingness to put in the work. All right. I love it. Well, let's get into it. And bear with me, by the way, if you hear me get silent for a couple seconds here and there, just taking a quick swig of water, keep the voice going good for you guys. So how can you quickly grow your business with Facebook video ads, even if you suck at them? Well, we're going to share a four-step process for doing this. So first, we're going to find the value, then we're going to create our assets, then we'll find our clients, and finally, we'll automate everything. So this is something that you can repeat over and over and over again. Okay, so first, we're going to find our value, and we're going to actually go through a little activity to get this done. And we're going to be talking about a value proposition. Now, for some of you, this may be like, okay, I've already done a value proposition, I've got this down, and that's great, but we need to review it because it's important to be able to do what we're gonna be going through, okay? So what is a value proposition? Well, a value proposition describes the value you add through your products and services. Why do you need a value proposition? Well, you're gonna be using your value proposition as the basis for all your sales, marketing, and product development. Your value proposition is gonna be the key to your business plan and, it helps you define a clear statement about your business. So here's a little hashtag pro tip. You've probably spent a lot of time developing your value proposition when you were building your website or your landing page or whatever assets. If you already have that, it's only going to give you a great launching point for this. And if you don't, no problem. But this is where we're gonna start and we're gonna use this to keep all of our messaging consistent. All right, so it's not enough Right? It's not enough to just say, I sell clothes online or I sell homes for people. Right? It's so vague and it doesn't speak directly to anybody. You want to identify exactly what you do and who you do it for. So what we're going to do is we're going to work together on this. All right? I want you to really do this with me. If you've got a pen and paper or you know, an, an iPad or whatever you want to work on, we're going to work together on this and we'll start broad and we'll narrow down. So if these first things I'm saying seem a little kind of obvious, don't worry, we're narrowing down from there. All right, so again, grab a pen and paper. So what industry are you in? We're gonna start with that. So that could be um, e-commerce stores, real estate agents, mortgage brokers, insurance brokers, local businesses. If you're a service, you wanna get specific with what kind of, uh, of service that you provide. All right, so we're gonna start there. Now we're gonna narrow it down even more. What is your product or service? Okay, what is it specifically that you have to offer? And then talk about who are your customers? Who is buying your product or using your service, right? We're starting with kind of the basis of who we are, 
we're getting down into the product and then we're getting down into who our customers are and who they're uh, who is buying your stuff and what are their needs or problems see we don't just want to think about okay they're buying you know whatever my my product is or my service but what is it that is driving them to do that what are the problems that they have that we're going to solve and what are you doing for them or giving them to solve this problem or need now this one is something that I find a lot of people skip, and it's not something that you want to skip. And that is, write down, why do you do this for them? Now, it doesn't have to be some big altruistic reason, right? We obviously want to make money, we have a business, but we're probably also passionate about the reason why we do it. And so if you can you know, think deep about why you do what you do for your customers, that can be helpful. And then what sets you apart from your competitors? You're probably not the only person who does what you do, but what makes you different? Why should somebody go to you to solve their problems? And it may actually be the answer to this question, right? Your why might be the reason why somebody should go to you. So what we're gonna do is we've got some fill in the blanks and I'm gonna show you uh, a way to come up with a really simple value proposition that you can use in those little elevator pitch situations that you can use as you're creating your Facebook ads and your videos. This stuff is going to help. So um, I'm going to do. I'm going to give them to you with blanks, and then I'll fill in the blanks with some examples to make it easier. So my blank helps blank by blank. So for example, my online children's clothing store helps new parents by curating the latest styles and trends for children's wear at an affordable cost. Okay. My expertise in blank helps blank to blank. So my expertise in pre-construction condos helps first-time home buyers to make the right decision when they're looking to buy their first home. Okay, I help blank do blank so they can blank. I help newly engaged couples do their wedding planning so they can enjoy their big day. I work with blank to blank allowing them to blank. I work with overweight women from ages 30 to 55 to lose weight in a healthy and sustainable way, allowing them to live happy and healthy lives. I give blank an opportunity to blank so they can blank. I give homeowners an opportunity to design and renovate their kitchens so they can live in the house of their dreams. Now, you don't have to do all of these. I'm not suggesting that you are able to answer all of these. But what I do want you to do is figure out your value proposition. Now, this can be refined over time. I'm not saying whatever you've written down today is going to stay your value proposition forever. But it can really help. And it's going to make the rest of this training that much easier for you. So I'm going to go back through them. And I want you to send them over. OK, let me know your value proposition. Put them in the questions box. I'll go back through these again right now briefly. So if you didn't write them down or you didn't get a chance, do it now. Write your value proposition. Send it over in the questions box. And I'll see if maybe I can help you refine it uh, even more. So again, my blank helps blank by blank. So my online children's clothing store helps new parents by curating the latest styles and trends for children's wear at an affordable cost. Yeah, Ben, we're gonna hook you up with a recording for sure. My expertise or product in blank helps blank to blank. My expertise in pre-construction condos helps first time home buyers to make the right decision when they're looking to buy their first home. All right, so we've got uh, Eric says, my specialized drugless treatment program helps stressed out moms by reducing nerve interference, allowing them to live happier and healthier lives. I love that. See how strong that is? It's such a strong value proposition. That's great. Larry, my video ads help businesses grow their customer base. Okay, that's really good. And then what would go after that? So you could do helps, uh, my video ads help businesses grow their customer base so they can what? That would be, uh, that'd be powerful. Tim, my down payment assistance programs helps first time home buyers by taking the need of money for a down payment. Nice, that's great. Uh, let's see, my product helps farmers to grow plants in a shorter time. Nice, so they can increase their profits or so they can spend more time with their family or whatever, add something like that, that can add a lot of power to, uh, to your value proposition. 
My creative and marketing agency helps AEC firms win projects by putting together their technical proposals. Good stuff. Our expertise helps new home, home buyers uh, buy homeowners insurance using a simple online portal offering a very affordable premium. That's good stuff. I love it. My expertise in hair extensions helps women with their uh, with hair woes to find their confidence by adding volume or density to their natural hair. See, I love that. When you get clear like this, all the rest of this marketing becomes so much easier because you know exactly who you are, who you serve, what you help them do, and the messaging is that much easier. All right, this is good stuff. Feel free to keep them coming. I'll try to get some more of them uh, you know, as we go. But that's really good. And you know, one thing I just want to say is kudos to you for taking the step to actually do the work, right? You have assured that you're going to walk away from this training having gotten something tangible out of it, right? Now you've really taken that step. You've dug in your heels and you are ready to get this done. So I love it. And today we are done with step one. Okay, so we found our value. We've got our value proposition, and now we're going to move on to step number two, and we're going to use our value proposition to go along with step number two, all right? So step number two is where we're going to create our assets. So now that you know your value proposition and you've created a clear picture of who your customer is, it's time to create your assets. In order to get the most out of your ads, engaging creative and strong value-added pieces are crucial, and we're going to talk more about that in a little bit. So either way, having a clear picture of your customer helps you create killer content that's gonna convert for you. So once you've created your value proposition, you now should have two things figured out, what it is you do and who your customers really are. Now it's time to ask yourself, what is it that you need? What is your business need from your ads? Now I know it's easy to say, well, I want sales, right? I want business, but we wanna get specific along each step of the way. So. A couple of examples, if you're a service, let's say you're a real estate agent, insurance agent, mortgage broker, consultant, that kind of thing, then you're probably looking for leads, right? You're not gonna send somebody necessarily to a sales form online and have them buy and enter their credit card information. You wanna lead so that you can talk to them in person or however it is you get your, your business. If you've got a product, right, you have an e-commerce store, you sell a physical product, you're probably looking for conversions. You probably want people to buy directly. Alternatively, you may also want conversions in the term of, uh, in terms of email list subscribers, right? So maybe you want them to join your email list. Or if you are a brick and mortar company, like a local business, you're probably looking for brand awareness. So if you've got a restaurant, you wanna be top of mind when somebody says, hey honey, what should we do tonight for date night? You wanna be the first restaurant that comes to their mind so that they go there and eat, right? So how are you gonna get these things? Well. There is an old way and there's a new way, and I know you can probably guess what the new way is, but let's talk about the old way first. The old way, which is what we like to call how small businesses go broke, and that is using all of these traditional old school marketing methods like door-to-door -door advertising, which everybody loves having their dinner interrupted by a door-to-door -door salesperson, right? Uh, direct mail, spending tons of money destroying the environment and hoping that somebody actually opens that envelope and doesn't just throw it right in the recycling bin. The Yellow Pages, which honestly, I just got one. It was the first time I've seen a Yellow Pages show up at my house in probably 10 years. It was crazy. You know, flyers, right? Just dropping flyers on, on car windshields or at other, you know, local businesses, hoping that people pick them up and look at them. And billboards, because when I'm driving 70 down the highway, I definitely look at a billboard, write down a phone number and make a call, right? So these methods are difficult. They're time consuming. One of the ones that I think for me is, is one of the biggest uh, issues is that they're not measurable. We have no idea if that billboard is getting people to come and become customers, right? We don't know if it's working. Uh, it's incredibly intrusive, right? We're not really delivering what people want. We're interrupting their day to shove our message in their face. And it's super expensive using these old methods. The new way, the better way, is Facebook video ads. Now, don't worry if you suck at them and don't worry if you don't have a clue how to use them. That's why we have the promo creation platform and needles. And we're gonna be talking about how to use them in a bit. We gotta talk about this first. What it comes down to is Facebook video ads is all about talking to people about their problems and how you can help them, right? They already have these problems. They're already struggling with this particular thing. You already know that you have the best solution for that problem. We just wanna show them that. Right? We want to help them with their problems. It's value-first marketing. 
instead of what I call annoying selling, right? We don't want to be annoying salespeople. We want to help people, okay? That's what we want. So the great news about using Facebook video ads to get to your audience is that, one, you're only ever talking to people who want your service, which is awesome, right? We don't have to, we don't have to push, right? Uh, it's a measurable success. We know how well our ads are working. We know if it's getting leads. We know how much it costs. We know how much it costs to get a customer. You get a greater return on your investment because we are only targeting the right people. We're in the age of the customer and the only way to really do business is to give them what they want. And that's what we're doing. And we're doing it using incredibly engaging creative. In fact, the advertising we're gonna be doing is gonna add value to people's day. Maybe give them a little bit of entertainment and get them in the door. So knowing how we're going to do that, we have to ask ourselves, well, how do we actually get their attention? Remember how 93% of marketers are advertising on Facebook? Well, you're not only competing with them and all of their ads, but you're also competing with pictures of dogs, videos of babies, and 30-second recipes, right? So that can be a scary prospect, but I'm gonna show you how to overcome this, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna speak to them the right way, we're gonna provide value, and we're gonna use video ads to get the job done. So speaking to your audience, we know the answer to these questions, right? Who are your customers? Who buys your product or service? What are their needs or problems? What do you do for them or how do you solve that problem? Why do you do this for them? And what sets you apart from your competitors or why do they choose you? We know the answers to these questions and that's gonna make everything that much easier. So what you could do is you could go run a thousand ads, but if you're not speaking to your demographic correctly or providing them something of value, you are wasting your money. I'd like to help you avoid wasting your money. So the key to doing this effectively is to give them something of value, all right? Is to give them, and a few people, by the way, have asked about the slides. I know you can see the slides on the side. That's just kind of my weird presentation mode. So sorry about that. A few people have asked about that. I'm just kind of a weird presenter. It's how I roll. Hopefully the information is making up for my weird, <laughs> my weird style. So anyway, the key is to give them something of value. So while everyone is out there trying to sell a product or service, give it something away to them for free that will enable them to trust you. When you give somebody something for free, it shows that you care about them getting results regardless of whether they're gonna buy something from you. And our favorite way to do that is to create something called a lead magnet. So what is a lead magnet? A lead magnet is any piece of content like a one-page PDF, a course, a guide for how to do something. We're gonna give that to them for free. Your lead magnet is basically what's going to drive people to want to give you their info or learn more about your product, and it's going to create a sense of trust. So let's do an example of this. So a children's online clothing store. So your goal as that online children's clothing store is to get new customers. And we're going to do that by maybe generating generate a new lead, somebody to join our email list so we can market to them over and over. So the lead magnet that we're going to offer is six tips to get your toddler through the terrible twos. I wouldn't know anything about dealing with the, t the terrible twos. I definitely don't have a two-year-old who fits this perfect description who's about to turn three and probably going to extend the terrible twos into threes, right? <laughs> so uh, that's this is the guide that we want to create. Now, I know you may be looking at me and thinking, okay, well, I sell children's clothing, but I'm not an expert in helping toddlers get through their terrible twos, right? I have no idea. Here's the cool thing. You don't have to be an expert to be able to offer something of value like this. You know what you're probably pretty good at? Google, right? You can become a curator of content. Browse Google, find articles from experts that already talk about these tips. Read through them and choose the best five or six or whatever tips that you think a parent of a toddler could benefit from. You're gonna gather those tips. This is what we did, by the way. We literally did this to show you an example of doing this. We're not experts, right? I, a lot of us have kids, but we're still not necessarily experts in doing this stuff. So we did this. We found these articles, we've got some links. We put them together. Here are the tips that we found, right? And then we used you know, just a tool like uh, Canva or Word to make it pretty, make a little guide, and voila, that's what we have. And you can link to the sources, by the way, Right, you can put a little link saying, you know, where you got the source from to give them credit. And there it is. 
we now have given them something of tremendous value that's going to impact their life positively and in exchange we got their contact information so we can market to them right this is a win-win this is the way you do marketing that makes people love you and that makes you not feel like you're out there just trying to sell all the time now, if you don't want to do a guide like this, it could be discount codes, right? Get them in the door. It could be newsletters to provide some information of value, uh, release information about upcoming products or services, related guides. The opportunities are endless. So a couple of examples of plumber or home services, it could be, you know, 10 tips to keep your pipes clean or the ultimate spring cleaning guide. Beauty services could be a guide, a perfect haircut for your face shape, or you could offer a, an exclusive 20% off discount only for subscribers. Again, the possibilities here are endless. Okay. So we now know how to speak to them the right way. We know how to provide value. Now we're going to turn this into an actual asset that we can put in front of their face to entertain them and offer this guide. And we're going to use video to do this specifically. Now, those of you who are like me, and when you hear the, just, you, you have just the thought of creating video, you're like, oh boy, here we go. I, I, I can't create video. Okay, that's me. I, I am just a complete video goof. I cannot make video. But don't worry, I can do this, and so can you. So 81% of businesses use video as a marketing tool. Over 500 million people are watching videos on Facebook every single day. According to Forrester Research, one minute of video is worth 1.8 million words. Try to get somebody to read 1.8 million words. Okay, viewers retain 95% of a message when they watch it in a video, compared to only 10% when reading it in text. HubSpot says 45% of people watch more than an hour of Facebook or YouTube videos a week. I can attest to that, raising my hand. And WordStream says social video generates 1,200% more shares then text and image combined. What about numbers? Should you be using video? Well, we looked at the numbers using our platform and we found that image campaigns cost 60 cents per click versus video campaigns costing only 51 cents per click. And the click through rate for image campaigns was 1.98% versus 3.85% for video campaigns. Video is the way to go. Every business needs videos, plural. Businesses are quickly learning that video is the best way to engage and activate clients and customers regularly on all social channels, and you should too. So how do you use video if you're not even slightly creative? Again, raising my hand. You can learn to become a video production pro. It can happen, but it takes a lot of time and experience. And you want to get your business growing quickly, right? You want to do what you do. You're not here because you want to be a video pro, unless you are a video pro, in which case that this part doesn't apply to you, right? You could outsource and hire a video production pro, which isn't a bad idea if you feel like spending a ton of money to get it done, or you can use promo.com. So I promised earlier I was going to tell you a little bit about promo.com and how it can make your life easier creating videos. And I'm going to do that. So promo.com is the number one video creation platform for businesses and agencies. Our easy to use editor allows users to create your own marketing videos with over 16 million high def video clips and a selection of fully licensed music tracks. All you have to do is find footage that's right for you. Or if you've already got great footage, you can upload your own, add your message and logo, and you've got a great video. And honestly, it takes less than five minutes. Uh, in fact, I think you can do it in about 30 seconds. So how does it work? Well, you can create a video in three simple steps. So you select the footage that you want from over 16 million videos or over 3,000 ready-made collections, which by the way, that's my favorite. We're going to talk about collections in a second. Collections are a game changer for me. You then customize the videos with your message and add your logo and then choose music from our extensive lifetime licensed library. So why should you use promo.com? Well, you can create powerful marketing videos without hiring anyone. No need to go out and spend tons and tons of money to hire somebody to create video when you can use promo.com to get it done for you. It's simple. You don't need endless resources. You don't need to go spend a ton of money on footage to music licensing. You don't have to go hire a copywriter, find professional editing tools that you pay a ton of money on. Promo.com takes care of all that. It's fast, less than five minutes. 
it's incredibly affordable. So the industry rule of thumb for video creation is $1,000 per minute. With promo.com, you can make unlimited videos at a fraction of the cost. And then there's no licensing hassle. I don't know about you, but if you've ever dealt with music licensing or image licensing, it can be a nightmare. Not with promo.com, it is all included. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go check out promo right now. We're gonna check out promo.com and we're gonna actually create a video together. And what I wanna do is I wanna use that example that we did earlier. So we talked about that guide, right? The, the guide to getting your toddler through the terrible twos. Let's actually make a video. I wrote some copy up for video. So I'm gonna go over here to promo.com. So here I am, I'm inside of my promo.com account. And what you can see here is we've got these different templates. I'm gonna scroll down, we'll go back to the templates in a second. So we've got these the videos. So if you wanted to select just a video and start with that and kind of create it from scratch based on the video, you can do that and you can see there's all these different lengths. We've got 30 seconds, 16 seconds, right? So we've got all these different lengths of videos um, or you can use these templates. So I love the templates because they're already set up for you. You don't have to go and you know uh, start up from scratch and create a video from nothing. Our templates are created by brilliant video editors. They have come up with these templates and they're all set for you. All you do is replace any of the stuff like your logo and uh, contact information and it's already yours. One other thing I wanted to mention before I get into this and we create our video uh, is a feature that, that Promo has uh, that I really like and it's called the calendar. So when you are a Promo.com user, there is, uh, there's a new free video that you can use every single day. So all these different things that are coming up, right? This is one of my favorites, National Ugly Christmas Sweater Day, okay? So we've got this. Um, if you wanted to have a video for National Ugly Christmas Sweater Day, you could click on get, you know, get this video. And here it is. You've got this video that you can market. <laughs> okay, so if you're not sure what kind of video ad you want to put out for that day, you can go to our calendar and you've got something ready to go. But let's go back to our example here for the, the terrible twos. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna search for baby crying. Let's do that. All right, so we've got all these cute videos. I love these. This is one of my favorites. I'm gonna use this one. So uh, we'll use, let's preview it so you can see what it looks like. Okay. Got baby crying. Okay, so we can do that. Oops, sorry. Um, so we've got that one. You know, honestly, we can use any of these if we wanted to. Um, so we go through all these. I'm going to go back. We'll use this one. Okay, so we can now customize this to be whatever we want to do. We can add different text, right? So we've got some text right here. Um, and I've already written up some text. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do ready to pull your hair out. So I'll customize the text. I'll say ready to pull your hair out. All right, so that's how easy that was to edit. And I can move this somewhere if I wanted to. I could put it over here. I could change it so that, you know, it has these different uh, effects, right? These different text styles. I think I'll go with a, this crisscross. I like that one. We'll put it right here. Okay, and then I can customize this text. And by the way, you can make the text longer or shorter if you want to. So I'll go ahead and edit this. What I'll do is I'll say, uh, you're not alone. You're not alone. Okay, so we'll put this down here again. Okay, and let's say, you know what? I want some more. I want some more text in this video. So I'm gonna move this over. Ready to pull your hair out. You're not alone. Um, I could add anything that I want to. So if I wanted to add more text, I could add more text. If I wanted to, for example, add in some different media here. So maybe I wanted another image that I wanted to include in here. Uh, I could do that. If I wanted to add more space, uh, I could do that. And then what I could do, what I'm gonna do for now is we've got our outro. And instead of this, uh, this other logo, I would upload my own logo. Okay, so again, we can change the outro here. So what I'm gonna do is I can change this text and I'll say something like uh, download, or we can do like six tips for getting out 
of the terrible twos. And then I could say download now. Okay, so we could do something like that. Now, again, if we wanted to add images in here, if we wanted to add other different things, we can change it so that it links to a website. We can do these different uh, kind of ideas. You also can set it for different uh, uh, aspect ratios. So if you wanted it to be optimized for Instagram, we could change it to square. All right, I'm not gonna do that now because I wanna keep the video as it is. You can change it to vertical video, which people are, are seeing great results with vertical. Now we've also got our music and I don't think that you can hear the music over it, but we can pick different music tracks that you can add. So if you want a different music track, you can do that. So at the end of the day, it's that much easier you know, to be able to do this. This is something I personally would never be able to do uh, if I wanted to just create this video on my own. So now we'll click save and preview. It's gonna put it all together for us. Now from here, we've got our video. And we would have our logo here. I didn't upload a logo, but we have our logo there. And then I could actually share this with the team. Let's say I wanted my team to get approval on this. Uh, I could do it that way, or I can publish it. And when I go to publish it, I can publish it directly to social networks. That's not what we're gonna do today. We would just download the video, but there we have it. So in that short amount of time, even while I was explaining it to you, we've created a video that quickly. So out of curiosity, how many of you think you could have, do, uh, how many of you could do what I just did? Let me know in the questions box if you think that was easy enough for you to do. I know Aaron said super easy, I love promo. Looks so simple, yes, easy, that was really cool. Absolutely, see it's easy stuff, even for people like me who are just not video savvy. I love it, that was nice, looks easy enough. I love promo and use it, that's awesome. I'm glad to hear that, thank you so much. All right, so. We're making real progress here. So far, we've found our value proposition. We've created our assets. And now it's time to find our clients. So how are we gonna find our clients? Well, there are a few options for doing this, okay? So one, you could learn to be amazing at Facebook ads. Two, you could use other platforms meant for very experienced marketers or you can use needles. Obviously, you know which one we're gonna suggest, but if you wanna learn to be amazing at Facebook ads, you're gonna have to get familiar with all the different things that the actual ad manager requires. So, you know, to understand what your marketing objective is, how to determine your budget and when you want your ads to run, where you want it to be placed. Do you want it Facebook, Instagram, audience network, messenger? How do you wanna do that? Uh, what audience do you want? How do you determine who you want to market to using Facebook Ad Manager? You're going to have to learn what you want to optimize for, what you want your bid to be set at. Uh, do you want to do things like figuring out uh, certain times of day to show your ads? Honestly, the best way to get great at Facebook ads is through experience, but honestly, you know, you probably don't have the time or money to waste, right? You want to be running your business, okay? So you want to be out there doing what it is that you do. And I'd rather not have you go out and spend a ton of money trying to figure out Facebook ads. I'd rather have you getting results from Facebook ads. So again, you could go spend a bunch of money on ads practicing, or you could use one of the other options. Now, option two, you could use a Facebook uh, ad platform that isn't needles. There are, of course, other options out there, but they're all built for people who are already Facebook advertising experts. And if you're not one, chances are those tools won't do you any good. So the other option is you can use needles together with promo.com. Now we talked a bit about the benefits of using promo.com before. So here are a few things that you'll need to know about needles to start getting clients. Needles is the internet's first robo agency and it works around the clock to create the best ads possible to target potential customers effectively using the latest in data science and machine learning technologies and optimizing them constantly to increase your return on investment. Basically, it is your uh, Facebook ad robot, okay? The robo agency automatically creates tons of social media ads for your clients. You don't have to have any knowledge of Facebook ad manager. You don't have to have a graphic artist. All you do is upload some text, headlines, and a promo video, and we will figure out what works best. 
Okay. So Needles is going to target potential customers through identifying buying signals. This is huge. This is a complete game changer. So what we do is we listen to every public conversation on social media and identify purchase intent and buying signals within social posts. So imagine you're a real estate agent. So your goal is to find people who want to buy or sell their house and get their contact information. Well, our technology, Needles, finds people on social media who have an intent to use a real estate agent. So Sam White posts, uh, looking for home in Kingston area, any recommendations? Well, Needles says, okay, well, that person needs a realtor. So Needles will deliver ads to them in real time, ensuring the ultimate chance for them to click and become your next client. Now is when Needles really shine. So whether you have a 50 or a $500,000 budget, Needles is going to fire on all cylinders to provide you with the best and most up-to-date optimization methods to ensure your ads are performing incredibly well. With countless optimization methods, we are going to work to reduce your cost for acquisition of a customer and drive as much new business to you as possible. How do we do that? Well, there are hundreds of ways, but some of my favorites are one A-B testing. So Needles is going to test a ton of different variations of your ads to find out which ones perform the best and why. So you will always know which ads are going to perform best for you. Needles uses day parting, which means it's going to test different times of the day to find out what times of day your ads work best. Trying to do that on your own, incredibly difficult and time consuming. But Needles takes care of that for you. And of course, cross-platform optimization on both Facebook and Instagram. Again, finding out which ads work best in which places. Now, if all this sounds complicated, the good thing to know is that Needles is doing it all for you automatically. You don't have to do any of this stuff. You can spend time at what you're best at, which is growing your business. There's nothing else like this out there. So Needles automatically creates hundreds of social media ads for you, targets potential customers through identifying buying signals, and optimizes ads for the highest possible conversion rate. So how do we stack up? Well, if you look at, uh, on the right here, we have your average cost per click for folks using just Facebook, and then the average click-through rate for folks using just Facebook. But you see, compared to Needles, Needles, along with video campaigns, 51 cents per click versus 64 cents per click, and a 3.85% click-through rate with Facebook uh, video campaigns using Needles versus less than 1% using Facebook alone. Now, new this month, we've actually added two new things which I'm really excited about. Needles Engage, which is going to post a relevant article to your Facebook business page every single day. So you always have content when people go to visit your Facebook business page, which is going to lead to higher engagement and better results for your ads. We've also added Needles Pages. Now, Needles Pages is going to allow you to create landing pages for whatever needs that you have for your business. So you want to give away that guide? You can send them from a Facebook ad to one of your landing pages to offer them that guide. Now, I was going to jump into Needles and actually show you how to create a campaign, but our tech team is putting the finishing touches on an all new Needles, which includes landing pages, Needles Engage, etc. We really wanted to have it ready, but sometimes tech gets in the way, so I can't demo needles for you today okay but uh, just understand all those things that we talked about is go it's going to make it that much easier for you to get all of this stuff done needles and promo together it's the one-two punch that you need to run effective video ads on facebook okay so doing this using these tools together you've now started running ads you have found your value proposition. We've done that together. Those of you that sent it out over to me, I love it. You've created your assets using promo to create your video. We found your clients using needles. Now it's time to automate. So we want to monitor and optimize, work your leads, and outsource tasks to scale. So the thing is, running an ad isn't enough. We don't just want to run an ad and say, okay, we're done. We wanted to monitor, we want to monitor it, test it and optimize. Have you ever heard of the 60-30-10 rule? Let me know if you've ever heard of the 60-30-10 rule. Let me know in the questions box. No, no, no. Nope, explain, nope, okay. 
All right. I'd never heard of it before this either, but when we were putting together this training, I found it really interesting. So businesses on average spend 60% of their time, money, and effort on marketing and sales, 30% on providing their products or services, and 10% of their time on administration. So in a 50-hour work week, but don't worry, we know small business owners work 24-7, that's about 30 hours a week spent on monitoring their ads and sales tracking. Yeah. Even if you were a Facebook video advertising expert, do you have 30 hours a week to monitor and optimize your campaigns? Chances are you don't have an extra 30 hours a week, right? So going in, trying to figure out how to run reports, what the reports mean, what all the different numbers mean. Here's the good thing. Not only does Needles make everything easy, and this I can show you, not only does Needles make everything easy and optimized for you, but also, when you want to know how your ads are working and what's working best, Needles will create a report for you. And I'm going to pull up the sample report here. This is an example. Now, I, I pulled this a little while back just to show you an example. This is a sample report of what you can download to see what is happening inside of Needles. So, for example, you can see, look, nine ads have been created and are published on Facebook. You, you've spent you know, 2102, this is the clicks, the ad views, the actions taken, the cost per click. You can see the performance, the engagements, the video stats, the pixel stats. Then we can go and look at what are your key demographics. Well, the best time of day is evening for running your ads. Uh, you're pretty split between male and female. You can see your best performing age groups. Then you can see your top performing ads, which ads are working best. These are the ones that are working best. Here are the results that you're getting. Then we can go through individually and see all of our different ads, the performance, engagements, video stats, and pixel stats for all of your different ads. Now you know what's working and what's not working. Not only do you know what's working, what's not working, but it's happening automatically in the background for you. I love that so much. It just makes it that much easier. And now you just got 30 hours of your week back. Okay? And you put your advertising dollars to good use, saving you money. Okay, so we've now monitored and optimized. We know what's going on there. Now it's time to work our leads, okay? So we got a lead, right? Somebody decided, they checked out our ad. They thought, you know what? I want that guide to the terrible twos. So what should you do with their email address? Well, the key to running a successful Facebook video ad is to have a process in place for when you get new leads. So you can reach out via email to thank them for downloading your lead magnet and offer to hop on the phone to give them some tips or a consultation. You can send out discount codes, right? Give them a discount. Add them to your email newsletter and send them valuable information on a weekly or monthly basis. Send them product updates. Keep them in the loop. And the cool thing is you can do this on an automated basis. Use something like Constant Contact or MailChimp or iContact or one of a bunch of other email marketing tools to take care of your leads for you. And then finally, outsource tasks to scale. As a business owner, you wear a lot of hats, but why? You can work smart, not hard. When you use tools together like Promo, MailChimp, and Needles, you're outsourcing what you're not good at or would rather not do, so you can focus on scaling. Getting out there and finding new clients, making new products, and growing your business the best way you know how. Okay? So I, I get excited about this stuff, but at the end of the day, we want to automate everything. You want to build scalable practices, clean models, and always automate when you can. It's going to save you a ton of time and even more money. So let's, let's recap our steps. We've got more to talk about, but let's recap our steps. So again, find our value, create our assets, find your clients, and automate everything. And one thing I wanted to share with you is this stuff that we're talking about today this is not new. We have businesses already doing this and generating results. So Lyman said, Needles has become my business's secret source and has increased my sales conversions by 45.7%. David C said, I've gotten lead cost down to 66 cents for a very niche product that is high priced. Madeline D said, I love that I'm basically hands off. After the initial setup, there's very little management that needs to be done. The Facebook ads run pretty much on autopilot. And this is a big one for me. The customer service experience is pretty much unrivaled. Uh, Cesar Quintero and uh, Christopher Labat, Brant Newman, and this other person got fantastic results uh, using needles and using promo. Uh, we've got Callum Maxwell and Natalie Strait getting great results with promo. You get this because you spent all this time with us today learning 
how to do this stuff. Now you'll have the knowledge and the tools to get it done. We would love to see you rocking this. And you can then tell us how great it works for you. I wanna say thank you so, so much uh, for being here. Thanks for spending some time with us today. I hope you got a tremendous amount of value out of this training today. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season if it's the holiday season where you are in the world. Thank you uh, for spending your time with us today. Have a fantastic day or night and uh, we'll see you next time.